The FortiGate VM on Google Cloud delivers next generation firewall capabilities for organizations of all sizes with the flexibility to deploy as a next generation firewall or VPN gateway. It protects against cyber threats with high performance, security efficacy, and deep visibility. The newest version of FortiGate VM 762 on Google Cloud now can be deployed on C3 and C4 machine type series powered by Intel Sapphire and Emerald Rapids CPU platforms. Fortinet Cloud Security for Google Cloud simplifies security and digital transformation, enhancing threat detection, streamlining operations, and reducing complexity. Our seamless integration with Google Cloud and the Fortinet security fabric delivers comprehensive protection to ensure your cloud and application journeys. It safeguards applications and data while maintaining operational efficiency. This demonstration will show how the FortiGate can protect your environment where users are accessing the internet. Here is the deployment scenario. A FortiGate VM with a public and private interfaces and a client traffic routed through the FortiGate to the internet. Let's deploy the FortiGate in Google Cloud. In Google Cloud Marketplace, search for FortiGate. Two options are displayed, BYOL and Pay-as-you-go. I'll be deploying the Pay-as-you-go option. As you can see, a 30-day free trial is available if, if this is the first time deploying a FortiGate. So let's click on Launch to start the process. Provide a unique name. The default Forta OS is 762. In the Machine Type Series box, click and select the options desired. For this deployment, I'll be using the C3 instance. In the Machine Type box right below it, Many options are available. Select the one appropriate for your needs. I'll be using the default for now, which is a 4V CPU and 16 gig of memory. Next, let's set up the network interfaces. NIC0 will be the public interface with an external IP, and NIC1 will be the private interface. The default firewall rules will be used, so nothing changes there. Click on Deploy to provision the FortiGate. Once the deployment is complete, go to the VM instance view to see the summary. The page displays the internal and external IPs assigned to the FortiGate. I've already deployed and configured a FortiGate and an Ubuntu client. The FortiGate has a simple firewall policy to allow traffic from the client out to the internet. The antivirus and web filter security profiles are all default policies used. Next, let's access the client. On the client, the IP assigned is 10.0.2.17, and executing a trace route to 1.1.1.1 displays the route going through 10.0.2.19, which is the FortiGate's NIC1 IP address. I'll execute some wget commands from the CLI to access sample test files on fortiguard.com slash sample dash files site. The wget command response for the sample file is 403 forbidden. Let's look at the forward traffic logs page and see that the query is denied for the first file that's requested. Then viewing the security events antivirus page, that displays the, the file of AI sample one being blocked and showing that the infectious type is suspicious. Similar information is displayed for the zero day file sample as well. Now when the client access google.com and yahoo.com, there are no issues. The traffic is allowed, as you can see in the wget response and the FortiGate logs. For more information, visit docs.fortinet.com slash cloud solutions documentation page. This lists the relevant documents for more information.